Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good Friday afternoon. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Kyle Keel. That chilly rain is going to continue here through much of the afternoon hours. And then uh, between about 4 and 6, we're going to start to see that uh, rain mix with a little bit of wet snow and eventually transition to all snow here by this evening. So a winter weather advisory does go into effect here this evening through tomorrow, uh, technically through 6 o'clock tomorrow. So watch for some slick roadways, uh, mainly very late in the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. For your evening drive tonight, I think things should be okay as we will have primarily just rain. So it will be wet and you'll need those windshield wipers. Uh, but again, that transition to snow not going to happen until the evening hours as it looks right now. So there's that winter weather advisory that I was talking about. It's the uh, county shaded in purple. And these areas are basically where we're generally expecting two to five inches of snow. Uh, farther to the north, there's going to be a sharp cutoff in the snow. Farther to the south, we'll probably linger with a little more rain than snow. So we'll get into the details now with future track. Uh, here we are at 11 o'clock. Kind of the northern extent of this here early this morning was not reaching the ground. Our radar is also indicating uh, maybe a little snow, but again, there's still a little dry air to overcome. And as I mentioned, it's really these northern tier of counties that we need to watch very closely because there's going to be a pretty sharp cutoff in that precip. That pretty much lines up here with future track this afternoon. Here we are at 6 o'clock. I, it's going to be a, a little bit of a tricky forecast here on when we actually transition over to some snow. I think around the Highway 20 corridor points to the north, uh, especially around Dubuque, this is the time period where we could start to see some wet snowflakes mix in and eventually transition to snow here after sunset. And uh, that's what Future Track is uh, definitely showing here. Probably after 8 or 9 o'clock, we'll start to transition all of that rain over to some snow. And notice the darker blues in here. There could be some moderate to heavier bands of snow that do set up. And that's why we kind of have a, a pretty broad swath of 2 to 5 inches across eastern Iowa. By the time we get after midnight, any lingering rain will transition to snow. 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, I think the heaviest swath of snow is going to be from Dubuque down toward uh, Cedar Rapids and Iowa City. The farther northwest you live and north you live, the lighter the snow will be here tomorrow morning. Then by late morning into the early afternoon hours, we should start to taper that snow off. Maybe a few lingering flurries here during the afternoon, uh, but it will be cool tomorrow with highs only in the 30s. And another aspect that we have to really keep a close eye on is the wind. So we'll have those winds out of the northeast. 15 to 25 miles per hour today into tonight. Then tomorrow they will be out of the north at 15 to 25 miles per hour before we finally dry things out and calm that wind down into Saturday night. So as far as any blowing or drifting snow, any snowfall amount that we get, it's going to be a wet, heavier snow. So it's not going to be as easy to be blown around by the wind. So that's certainly some good news. But with the windy conditions and that snow falling later tonight to tomorrow, I could have some uh, issues with some visibility if you do have any travel issues. So there's that swath of two to five inches of snow that I was talking about. That's in that blue shading. So uh, Waterloo could get two to three inches of snow. Cedar Rapids could get the same amount of snow. Uh, most areas are probably going to stay less than five inches, but there is that possibility. And we're still keeping the possibility of a four to six inch band here uh, somewhere around Dubuque in northeast. Iowa. This is where some of our higher resolution guidance is showing some of those heavier bands of snow setting up. And this is also where we could see that transition a little bit earlier. We may end up on the lower end of this and time will tell that. But I uh, just do get the idea that we are going to have some wet and slushy snow on the roads as we head into tomorrow morning. Now farther to the north, we'll see a trace to two inches. Farther to the south, a trace to two inches as well. Uh, that has to do with the rain in the south and of course the sharp cutoff on the snow to the north. So just kind of a lot of moving parts here to this forecast. We're going to keep you updated throughout the afternoon and evening. Your forecast today shows these temperatures not moving much at all. Uh, we'll have that chilly rain transition more to a rain and snow mix here during the afternoon. We'll keep that northeast wind at 15 to 25 miles per hour. The rain will change over to snow tonight. It's going to be quite windy as well. We'll have a northeast wind keeping those temperatures in check. We'll generally be in the upper 20s to near 30 with that area of low pressure attracting just to our south. There's your city by city forecast. Again, the rain is, or the, pardon me, the snow is going to continue tomorrow. Temperatures in the lower to middle 30s. Uh, we finally dry things out tomorrow evening, and that'll leave us with a pretty seasonable December day on Sunday with highs in the upper 20s to lower 30s. And these temperatures on the 10 day uh, might fluctuate a little bit depending on the exact amount of snow we get. But generally, we're looking at lower to middle 30s here for the 10 day period with overnight lows in the teens and 20s.